Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it is time for the 20th mining farm update. We do these on every first Tuesday of a new month. Today is a travel edition and I'll tell you why in a second. So I'm recording this video while on the road in Canada at the moment. We have been booked for two concerts on two weekends and it was cheaper for the organizers to keep us housed in Canada instead of flying us back and forth. So this was a mixture of work and vacation. I don't get out much if it's not work related so this was very welcome. That is also the reason why I don't want to just simply talk through all the machines like every month but talk about leaving one's farm behind and what precautions you can undertake. First of all, let's talk about my GPU rigs. I'm still holding the line I told you last month. So the one AMD rig, the one Nvidia rig, but cards are still moving in and moving out. We'll focus more on that transition once I'm back. Here life is pretty easy. In most BIOSes you can set your machine to automatically turn on if it gets power and with a setting like that you're safe if you lose power for a short time and you don't have to physically press any buttons on the machine. An advanced step for this, which I don't have yet, is a UPS. This means uninterruptible power supply. These things are basically mighty battery backups, which keep you connected for some hours even if you lose power completely. I did not get any yet, as I know I need at least two. One up in my office, since my router is upstairs, and another big one for the whole mining room. This is of course a project for a whole nother day, but I still wanted to mention it as it can make your operation even safer. These are not only great for losing power, but depending on the model offers some more features like surge protection or even also remote controlling features like shutting down or rebooting specific lanes. For monitoring the rigs themselves, I'm using HiveOS and I'll link you my video on the operator system in the top right corner. With Hive you have an online dashboard which you can access from anywhere. So like that I can see how temperatures are doing, if I had any outages or I can do additional tweaking if necessary. For example because I closed my windows before leaving I undervolted my rigs just a little bit more than usual just to be safe. You could also connect your ASICs to Hive, but to be honest I've never done so. So in regard to my ASICs and the little FPGA, I honestly simply gamble. I don't use any smart devices like smart power plugs. These often offer the possibility for rebooting through apps for example. But in that regard I'm not as prepared as I want to be. But now that the travel time is already almost over and we are preparing for the flights back, I can tell you folks that everything has stayed stable. So for a change my paranoia was unwarranted. What I would recommend here though if you have not already done so is to at least fill out all the possibilities for alternative pools as well so that in worst case that a pool goes down your miner just switches to the next pool. Also I have left my PCs running which are connected to the same network as the miners and yes this is a possible point of attack but in worst case I could have remotely controlled one of the PCs and logged into the ASICs if I wanted to change something. So that's already what I wanted to talk about for this update as it is hard for me to do more while on the road. Of course we will have videos on random acts and all the other happenings in the crypto world these previous days and weeks but as I said I couldn't do more on the road. Stay put for upcoming content on that too. Also I wanted to ask you guys what and how you do it if you have to leave your mining operations for longer amounts of time. Do you even do something? Do you shut off or do you have better ideas? ideas for maintaining your farms from afar. Thank you all for tuning in. We are preparing to fly back right now so I'm looking forward to getting home over the jet lag to get into making videos again. I love to travel but honestly not being able to make content for you folks the way I want to made me a little crazy. But that's probably just generally the self-employment sickness with always being used to work from home. <laughs> Especially that and exactly in that time that I was gone a lot of things were happening in the cryptosphere. Looking at you Aeon and Monero. It's exciting times. Folks, I wish you all the best. Last greetings from beautiful Canada. Happy mining and bye.